going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Daniel Williams. If you haven't ever been here before, this is the Cedar Ridge Chronicles and I welcome y'all. Thank y'all for watching. Today we're going to be working on my brother's buck again from last year, big old eight point he killed. Right here in the top of his head, he had a really bad wound. I'm assuming it was from getting gored by another buck, but you can see what I've done is built that hole back up with epoxy to where it's level with the hide again, just to rebuild that skin. I started to stitch that back together, but where it's at on that deer's head, I didn't want to alter the eye or the nose or anything by drawing that up a, a little bit. It's not a giant hole, but it is big enough where I was afraid everything wouldn't lay just like I wanted it to. So I have used some patches before using cut hair and it works really, really well. Uh, especially since I started using the Static King to do artificial velvet. They've got a product, it's called FiberTac. This is it right here. And this, it's a glue that's used to attach those fibers to antler to redo artificial velvet. And what I noticed was when I first started using it, you can take your hand and rake over that velvet, this, those, that flocking fiber stuck in that FiberTac and it will not come off. It's very, very durable and works very well for doing patchwork like this using just trimmed hair off a deer cape. Now what I've done, I always save some pieces of scrap hide that comes off the back of a deer. So you end up with some white, you know, you get into some oranges and it, it gets darker across the back and even down into the armpit and belly here. You can see where I've already used some trim off of there before in the past. What that does gives you a lot of different colored hair. And you can see right here, that's gonna match up really close to right, right in this area right here. This hair is gonna match up real close to the top of that deer. And this isn't, you know, rocket science or anything, but it's, you know, just get as close as you can to match. And that way when that hair lays in there, uh, it's, it's not gonna show up too much once it overlaps. So I'm gonna mount my camera up on my chest. I'm gonna show y'all how I do this. All right, now I'm gonna give y'all a couple of little tips of how to make this work out a little bit better for you. The way that the hair lays on a deer, you can see it's got a little bit of a curl to it. On this side, it curls this way. On this side, it curls back this way. Well, it's gonna be exactly the same on the hide that you're using. These hairs are gonna curl different ways. They're twisted. They're, I mean, there's just all kind of different directions that they're going on a deer's body. So what you wanna to try to do is match that curve with this curve. You also wanna make sure that you're taking this off with the right hand and cutting with the right hand. Because if you, if you happen to use the wrong direction, like if you've got this over here, for instance, and you're trying to get this and cut this off, you're gonna to have to turn completely around backwards in an awkward position and try to glue that up. And what you want is the hair to lay perfectly flat in a row, the closest that you can get it. So if you can get this in position, pick this up with your left hand in this position and cut and then lay it back down on there, you're gonna be better off. And the same as if you're working on the other side, you wanna turn the cape around, match it up with the right curve, maybe take your right hand, cut it off, and then lay it in there. So if you go to try to do this, make sure you don't use the wrong hand to cut and the wrong hand to grab the fur, because you'll end up working against yourself. All right, now the way you're gonna apply this fiber tack, you're gonna to wanna to pull this hair back kind of flatten it out and just get it to stick up as much as possible, kind of keep it out of your way. And you're gonna want that glue to be up against this edge. It doesn't have to come all the way to this edge. You're gonna end up with glue all in your hair. You don't want the tips of the hair all glued together if you can help it. So what we're gonna do, is apply this fiber tack all the way up to about right there far enough where the ends of those hair will meet the glue, but not all the way out to the end. And turn this around, figure out what color and direction we want. It's gonna be right, right in here, I do believe. You're gonna get a pinch of this. Go ahead and get more than you need. That's part, part of it right there too. Get more than you need and cut off more than you need, like that, where you've got a good, healthy handful. Take this hand, pull out any loose hairs to where it's just an even line. 
And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to lay this to where the ends of these hairs are approximately right here on the next hair in line as far as a row. You don't want to go all the way up in there yet. We're going to do this in layers. You're going to lay this down like that. Press gently with your hands not in the glue where it's up here on this hair. And anything stuck to your fingers, just wipe it off in the floor. You don't want to touch that again because anything that you touch, you're going to get glue stuck all over everything. And we're going to do it again. Get you a big old line like that. Pull out the excess. This time, we're going to layer it. We'll go right up in, up under this hair. Put this line up in here. Just lay it down. All right, we're going to pull this back just a little bit. You can use your tucking tool. Do that right there. Do this one more time. I believe that's going to be enough. Just like that right there. Clean it up. You can grab this with this side. Clean up the top side too. This one's a little bit narrower. Got a little bit narrower spot. And pull this back with my tucking tool. Stick that right down in there and then just leave it alone. Okay, now, once you've got that in there, you can see the hairs are, are reasonably in position, but not perfect. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my tucking tool, make sure this is clean, make sure it doesn't have any glue in it, it's not sticky. And you wanna position those hairs to where they're facing the same direction as the hair on the deer. Just like that. Once you get that in position, press them down lightly. It'll all lay into place. Any little weird hairs you got out of place, just get rid of them. Just like that. Now then. All right, now then. Y'all look at that up close. See how that looks? I mean, to me, that type of repair on a hole that big in that area, you're going to end up with a better finished result than if you try to stitch that up and draw all that all that together because your eye's not going to sit right nose is not going to sit right it's just to me that's just the better repair and you may even want to go back over this lightly with a little bit of spray adhesive if your hairs are trying to stick up this is laying down really well i don't think that's going to be a problem but y'all i am amazed at this right here this stuff right here bonds those hairs better than anything i've ever used uh, so far, I haven't had any trouble with them even trying to come out. And the crazy thing is, on the antler, the only thing even touching that fiber tack are the tips of those fibers because of the way the static electricity works. So you would think that by, by rubbing on it, touching it, scratching on it, that all of that would just fall right off because there's not much holding on. But it is very durable. Uh, I've, I've messed with it a lot on purpose, just seeing how durable it was to see what I could get away with. And it has kind of created this new style of fixing holes for me in some areas where stitching a hole just wasn't really viable. But yeah, guys, I would suggest y'all buying some of that fiber tack. If you ever have to do a repair like this, it is a great product, works really well. Uh, if you decide to get some, there is a website, it's called Scenes, the letter N, Nature. Scenes in Nature. And they're the ones that sell the Static King and they sell all these other products to go with it. But you can get on that website and order that glue if y'all are looking to buy some of it. Well, guys, I hope that this tip is helpful. Uh, it's one of the most, probably one of the most important things that I have kind of taught myself to do in certain situations like this where there's just, I don't know any other way to fix it where it still looks natural. 
But anyway, y'all, really appreciate y'all watching. If y'all like this video, y'all give me a thumbs up, and I'd appreciate it. If y'all have not subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button. Really helps the channel out a lot, helps me out a lot, and does not cost y'all a thing. And also, if you haven't hit the bell, hit that notification bell, and that way every time I come out with a video, if y'all are interested in seeing what it is, it'll pop up on your phone and give you that notification. So anyway, guys, good to see y'all again. Y'all have a good day. We'll see y'all on the next video.